Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Tom Kelly. This is Clean Cut Audio, and this is part two of my short loudness series. Today, we're going to be talking about output. If you missed it, I'll put a link in the description for part one, talking about input gain. In this section, we're going to be learning how to turn our healthy input signal into a healthy output signal. So let's do it. Now in Pro Tools here, I recorded this little sample recording and I'm gonna teach you how to boost this nice input signal into a nice output signal. Now, in order to measure LUFs, we obviously need a tool that can meter them, a LUFs meter. I'm using the WLM meter from Waves pretty much because it was on sale the day I needed to buy one. There are several out there. I'll put some links in the description to where you can get them but I'm using WLM. Now this signal is recorded around negative 26 LUFs. Who cares? Input, you don't need to worry about LUFs. Now we have to boost it to hit negative 16 because that is the loudness standard for podcasting. And by the way, a LUF, it stands for loudness unit full scale LUFs. It is a perceived loudness that was made to create a standard for what TV, radio, streaming, music should be. Now, we're trying to hit negative 16, so let's listen to this and look at the meter down here. Hey, this is Tom Kelly from Clean Cut Audio, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to turn a healthy input... So we can see that I'm hitting about negative 26 LUFs. That's far too quiet, so there's a couple things we can do to boost this. Number one turn up the volume fader. So we can just turn this up. We need about, uh, let's say 10.2 decibels. Let's see what that does. Hey, this is Tom Kelly from Clean Cut Audio, and I'm gonna be demonstrating how to turn a healthy input signal into a healthy output signal. All right, so I hit negative 15.5 love, so I can turn that down and that's about negative 16. So with the exceptions of mixing it and putting your dynamics processing and stuff on, we hit the target. This is not enough to export because we need compression and all that other stuff, but that's a video for a different day. So we can do the volume, that's great. We can put a compressor on there and boost the output, uh, the makeup gain, and that will get us to around negative 16. Hey, this is Tom Kelly from Clean Cut Audio, and I'm gonna be demonstrating how to turn a healthy input signal into a healthy out. All right, so we used our makeup gain on a compressor. We could normalize it. Typically, I don't recommend normalizing because I think it's arbitrary and useless, but it will boost the volume, maybe, depending on how it was recorded. I don't think anyone should use this tool, but let's, uh, let's normalize it and take a listen. Hey, this is Tom Kelly from Clean Cut Audio, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to turn a... It's a little bit louder, but it's not loud enough. It's a dumb tool. I don't like it. We can talk later about why. And then the last thing we can do inside of Pro Tools, along with many other DAWs, is adjust the clip gain. Now, this is loudness in a different way than the fader is, but to keep it simple, we're just it makes it it makes it louder. We can talk about this later, but we can see it's uh, turning that waveform up a bit. And let's listen to what this does. Hey, this is Tom Kelly from Clean Cut Audio, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to turn a healthy input signal into a healthy output signal. All right, so that's, was that four or five simple ways to make your podcast hit negative 16 LUFs? Now, if we are trying to finalize a production here, there's more to do than this. There is dynamic range, compression, limiting, automation, EQ, maybe some noise reduction if you're recording in suboptimal environments, DSing. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do other than this, but hitting negative 16 LUFs is easy. It's so easy and it's not an input process. So we need to kind of differentiate when we're recording, we're not trying to hit negative 16 LUFs. We're trying to hit that sweet spot between peaking at the top, clipping at the top, and noise floor at the bottom. That's all we're thinking about. And then in post, we're hitting negative 16 LUFs. I hope this is helpful. I have a much longer video, again, in the description on input gain, loudness, all of that stuff. It's much longer. It's free to all viewers, and it's much more comprehensive with 
listening examples and visuals and listening exercises. It's a great video. It's a little long, but you'll understand much more. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss a video. Tell a friend, tell a podcaster about these videos. Word of mouth is great, and I'm getting some pretty good feedback. If there's anything you'd like to see, anything I could be doing better, please feel free to email me, hello at cleancutaudio.com. I'll be happy to chat, and I'm very excited to be launching some merch, some t-shirts in the future. Super excited. All right, that's it. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.